This is the Daily Love Podcast. Elovi, legire, orare, vivere. To read, to pray, to live the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to all of you listening. This is Njideka. On behalf of the Lacio Divina team, bringing you the Daily LOV Podcast. Happy Easter to all of you. Join our LOV Verbum Day family and say with us all, Christ is risen, alleluia. He's truly risen, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the grave, alleluia. Who hung upon the cross for us all, alleluia. Today, Saturday of the fifth week of Easter time, we keep on rejoicing and celebrating the victory of life over death as we remember how blessed are these days when earth and heaven are joined and humankind is reconciled to God. Hallelujah. It is by exploring the word of Christ that we root ourselves in him, deepen our relationship with him and see his presence in our life. Dear brothers and sisters, let us all begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the spirit of truth which comes from thee, Holy God, enlighten our minds and lead us all to the truth, as your Son promised us. Amen. So today we are in the Gospel according to John, and we read chapter 15, verses 18 and 19. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belong to the world, the world will love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. So just a few things to nourish our reflection on these verses. The Christian who follows Jesus is called to live in a way contrary to society. In a world organized according to the egoistic egoistic interests of persons and groups which seek to live and radiate the love which will be crucified. This was the destiny of Jesus. This is why when a Christian is very much praised by the power of this world and is exalted as a model for all by mass media, it is good not to trust too much. The true mark of a disciple is love. The world will hate us if we take our following of Jesus seriously. This is because we refuse to identify ourselves with the values and concerns of the secular world. Instead, we reject competitiveness, self-absorption, anger, revenge, and desire for status and power, which are ingrained in the lives of so many people. My choice withdrew you from the world. It was Jesus' choice which separated us. And if we base ourselves on this free choice or vocation of Jesus, we will have the force to suffer persecution and calumny and have joy in spite of the difficulties. It is a challenge to walk with this one possible road to joy. Yet, as people loved and chosen by Jesus, we are invited to choose his life of love. Brothers and sisters, let's, let us pray to the Lord for a moment. Lord our God, it is good to live in the friendship of your Son Jesus Christ. Make us realize that also in this love we are committed to Him and share with Him for better and for worse, in misunderstanding and contradiction as well as in joy and intimacy. Help us to rejoice even when treated with indifference or ridicule on account of Him, for it means that He is still with us who is our Lord forever. Amen. During this glorious season, we keep on praying for the prayer intentions of our LOV Bourbon Day family, composed of 272 members, and we will dedicate these next two days to one of our monthly prayer intentions. Today, we will pray for an end to the coronavirus with Pope Francis' prayer from his book, Strong in the Face of Tribulation. Lord, may you bless the world, give health to our bodies and comfort our hearts. You ask us not to be afraid, yet our faith is weak and we are fearful. 
But your love will not leave us at the mercy of the storm. Tell us again, do not be afraid. And we, together with Peter, cast all our anxieties upon you, for you care about us. Amen. We now pray for our three communities, Osmo Delhi, Legion of Mary from St. Teresa's Church, Living Water in Trinidad and Tobago, and for our clergy and religious, for Robert and his proceeding towards ordination as deacon, and for all seminarians in the Clifton Diocese that they may listen to the voice of the Lord and follow it with courage and joy. For Morgan, who has now entered the Mary of the Morning Star Order as a novice, with deep peace of mind and heart. Thanks be to God. For Father Andrew, Naomi's brother, who was ordained in March this year. And for Father Richard, Sister Sujata, and the volunteers of the St. Nicholas of Tolentino's Food Bank. And all the people in great need in these difficult times. The SVD priest, Father John OCD, Father Francis, Father Valens, Father Rupert, Father Adam, and Father Larry, including our Bishop Declan and our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Today we also pray for peace in the world. We pray, O oh Lord, that you pour out your Spirit and may the face of the earth be renewed again. We pray for peace, we pray for healing. We pray for an end to coronavirus. And we pray for all the souls of the faithful departed, especially those who are who died through this virus. May the Lord bring a perfect end to this pandemic. Amen. Now let us pause for a few seconds and present all our intentions in our hearts to the Lord. We will now conclude this time together by bringing all our intentions towards our merciful Mother Mary, so that she may intercede for us to her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by saying, How Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. The son you merited to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray to God for us, Alleluia, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you all for listening and praying with us once again. Happy Easter to you all. God bless you and please share with your friends, relatives, and community. The joy of Easter to all those around you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and to follow us on Instagram. The LOV Verbum Dei Ministry hopes that this podcast helps you to deeply welcome the Word of God and give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. If you have any query, or you want to send us your prayer intentions, use our email address, which is lov, l.o.v, underscore, verbum dei, v-e-r-b-u-m-d-e-i, at outlook.com. Thank you.